Hello, dear friends. Now, let's answer your questions. Look, Medina. I've been on hormones for 10 years and suffer from rheumatic arthritis. She's been on hormones for 10 years. So here's the answer. What do you mean on hormones? You sat on them or what? Then just take them away and sit on a chair. That's it. And if you've been taking hormones, well, all of us have. And all of us suffer from rheumatic arthritis. I do too. Yet I'm not taking any hormones. And I suggest that you follow my instructions. Start eating healthy, raw food. 80% of raw salads, 20 kinds, and 20% of boiled vegetables. A little bit of buckwheat, that's it. Arthritis will be gone. Don't forget the garlic. You need to eat live food, that's it. Start an eating diary and take a look. That's the cause of arthritis. What's the disease itself? It's when we get rotten from the inside. That's it. Rotten as an apple. We have to cleanse the body, cleanse the bowel, the liver, and fast. Fats are crucial. It is unity with God. When we fast, we get cured. And when we eat whatever food, animals, milk, Sour cream, you're going to need hormones. Next question, my son has dermatitis. He's eight years old, leads a healthy lifestyle. And what's the way out? Dermatitis means you give tons of sweets to him and you call it a healthy lifestyle. You give him sweets, cut that off, especially in the evening, just raw salad and other things during the day. If he eats sweets, of course he has dermatitis. The sweet food prevails in his diet. Give him more vegetables and it will go away. You can also do sodic baths. Now, he wets the bed. Give him a tablespoon of honey in the evening, and he won't anymore. And if he does, exclude the sweets altogether, just the vegetables. Right, we reach out to God, you see? Remember the fast. Now, kidney ache. Kidney ache, see, a watermelon. A watermelon. When do we have kidney ache? When our food has more than 10% fats. If it doesn't, there's no grilled, stewed, or fried food. With olive or sunflower oil, you'll never have a kidney ache. Remember it. And that's it. What am I talking about? Take a watermelon and eat it during the whole day. And here are shelled oats. Boil them with calendula. One glass per two liters. 15 minutes, and then drink during the day, and your kidneys will be as good as new. As good as new. Watermelon, watermelon, oat, and no fried food, raw food. 80% raw food. That's it. It's not that easy. And at the same time, it is. And you won't have kidney ache, and the stones will come out. These are the questions you ask me. See, here's one more like this. Look, disease is a result of inferior diet. We need food that makes us healthy. And when you eat, after the sunset, there's no use of this food. It's digested improperly. That's why I recommend you to consume the meal mainly at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, and at 6. After 6, the sun sets. And you can eat only raw salads. At that time, they make you healthy, nourish your body, change the blood structure, Arthritis? Dermatitis? Nothing of the kind. Forget about the evening meal and change your blood structure. You need elecaments. Those are phytochemicals found in such products as turnip, onions, such as garlic, tomatoes, cucumbers, see? And watermelon, too. It's an elecament as well. But it has got to be eaten with garlic. Remember, paired up with garlic and onions, it's a nuclear bomb. And if you eat it alone, it will feed your fungi, which your body is full of. And there'll be no use for it. So you have to eat watermelon with garlic. That's how you do it. But a tiny bit of garlic, a tiny bit, all the time. These are simple. Also, it's good to consume, see? Flaxseed oil with garlic. Flaxseed garlic oil. One teaspoon added to the salad and your blood will be just fine. Now you know what disease is and how to cure it. You've become prof And answering the last question, how do I erase all diseases? It's very simple. Pray to God and keep saying, Lord, I keep the fast for your sake. I eat only vegetables. Do that for, say, a week or three days, and the effect will surprise you. See you next time.